This is a story of how sometimes all it takes is one phone call to provide a solution for someone and save a life. Rising Up, a story of charity amid a crisis. Two weeks ago, we got a call from Joseph Montague disputing one of the stories we told on KTAR News about the government shutdown. He then shared with us his struggles, his wife having to work full time without a paycheck because she is a federal government employee. He is disabled. He cannot work full time. He can work with his hands, though, and build furniture. And as he was telling us his story, as he was telling us his struggle, we asked him if we could come tell his story. We asked him if we could put his story on KTAR so that others can understand his plight, his family's plight, and hopefully some resources could be made available to him. And as a matter of fact, he asked specifically, what resources can you help me find? So we at least knew we, as a resource, could go tell his story, put it out there, and then hopefully other resources will come to him. And that's exactly what happened in this case. Come in, come in. This is my landlord, uh, Patrick. Hey, Frank. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Joseph tells us that he had a heart attack and a stroke five years ago on the job. He could no longer work in construction, setting up air conditioning units. He was told after his first heart attack at age 19 years ago that he had 11 months to live if he kept working full time. So he went back to work anyway. Again, he wanted to provide for his family like anyone wants to do. And the second time around, he just couldn't do it anymore. So ever since then, he's been repurposing wood that he collects at construction sites used for shipping, leftover materials from building, and he makes furniture out of it. He showed us some of the furniture that he made, that he restained and built and repurposed, and that he would sell at different parts of the state. Compounding the issue was that right around this time, in the middle of the shutdown, his table saw breaks. So now he couldn't even cut the wood to make the furniture. He also said that his wife uh, works at a local hospital owned by the federal government and she was working for a time and deemed non-essential and therefore she missed out on two paychecks. And that had a tremendous toll on the family used to paying its bills, used to paying its rent. And now we're looking at the end of the month and Joseph wouldn't be able to make his rent for February. So after we told that story, we had another listener, his name is Frank, contact the newsroom and say, I want to help Joseph. Here's the resource. I, I start talking with Frank, started uh, reflecting on the story that I told. He thanked me for telling the story. And then he said, I think I can help Joseph with two months rent. And I said, that would be tremendous. You are so generous. Thank you. Let me start making some phone calls. You know, I, I was raised by uh, immigrants. And uh, when you're in a first and second generation home, yes, work and striving and saving for your family is the most important thing you do. So it really brought me back to when I was growing up with a large family, uh, yeah. trying to make ends meet any way you could. And uh, I just wanted to uh, help. Uh, I'm just so grateful. This means it's a tremendous, for us, it's life changing because, you know, it's, it's, this is going to reverberate. I'll remember this day for the rest of my life. Yeah. You know, my kids will, will remember this, my wife, my family, you know, it's just, this is, I, it's so unbelievable. It's so unbelievable what, what is going on. I'm just so grateful. And like I said, I wish one day I'm able to do the same for someone else. You will, I'm sure you will. But I, I'd really like to to make you something. I, I make uh, my furniture and I would really like to make you something. We go tour Joseph's workshop, which was inside his garage. And you can see stacks of wood and shelves and racks of wood uh, lining the walls of the garage. The kids were calling, so we left the garage. And then Frank uh, opens up his wallet, presents the check. I have your name right there. Uh, yes, 
this, sir? Oh, good. Because <laughs> now you can cash it. <laughs> so I don't know how you want to handle this. Is this well, this, no, is, that's for you. this is for the, for the, rent. Rent, for the two months' rent. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This way, you won't have to be saving for your rent for the next two months. Yes. Yeah. I was honored to tell this story, and I love telling this story because of the humanity involved. One man helping another man. Normally we hear stories of tragedy, we hear stories of fighting on the streets or even in our government offices. Finally I get to tell a story that's just beautiful in its nature. Where, again, another man is helping another man. Another man hears the cry for help and he responds. And that man is saved. And that man who is saved pledges to do it for the next person. And so now we have a paying it forward procedure where lots of other people get help. This is a story of inspiration. This is a story that tells us not to lose hope in humanity and those around us. Rather, this story tells us that we can depend on others, that we can build hope, we can build trust, we can build bridges and make our community a better place to live. You, by doing this, it, it really, it, it takes so much off of my shoulders. I feel 10 and feet tall right now just because the so much weight of the burden of, of what's mm -hmm. going to happen. And you, you really are our savior well, right now I, in this I'm situation. I'm just uh, glad to be able to be a, a part of that. Uh, it's what you're doing, it's not what I'm doing. Yeah. Afterward, Joseph then told me a saying from his Native American ancestry. If you're up top, remember to look down to help the people down below and help them up to where you are. And if you are down below, don't f be afraid to look up and pull some and ask someone to help pull you up so that your life can be stable and then eventually you can give back or pay for it either way. Don't forget the generosity involved at both stages in life. Here's our top story. KTAR News, 92.3 FM, Arizona's news station.